Good afternoon, mga mahal, my fellow gods, beloved, alighting here from that MRT station. And I found this beautiful greenery in here. Look at that. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. I needed this because I want to rest for a while to read God's word somewhere here. Uh, I came from the hospital to visit Grandpa and uh, I just want to sit down here for a while at Chinese Garden. Hallelujah. It's under construction so it's not, uh, we can't go there yet. But uh, it's nice in here. <laughs> Thank you Lord. The green grass, those beautiful clouds, the wind is blowing, the beautiful trees in here and the birds are eating their food some of them that's my place where i'm going to read god's word hallelujah father god thank you i'm so blessed lord to be able to just sit down here for a while to give you glory to thank you god for all that you are doing in my life you have done in my life <laughs> and so father i just want to praise you lord to glorify your father to magnify your lord thank you jesus I just want to praise you. Oh God, I'm in awe of your beauty. <laughs> I just want to glorify your name. You are everything to me, Jesus. Hallelujah. You are everything to me, O oh Father. And I just want to praise you, oh my God. I will always praise you. And I will always grow with your name. Yes, God. And you are everything to me. Yes, God, because I am nothing without you, Lord. But with you, Father, I have everything. And I am never be alone. Right, British? <laughs> Thank you, Father. Amen. I will never be alone, Father God, because you are with me. Amen. Amen. Come on, Mahal. Let's continue on reading God's Word now in the book of Daniel, chapter. Hallelujah. We'll be reading Daniel chapter 11. Yes. <laughs> Yesterday we read chapter um, 10 and some part of chapter 11. Father God, as we read your word, help us, Lord, to understand. Oh, Father, give us, Lord, the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of you, oh, Father God, as we continue to read your word. In Jesus' mighty name, the name above all names I pray. Amen and Amen. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Such beautiful scenery, those clouds. So amazing. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. I'm so in awe of your beauty. This greenery here. The birds flying around here eating the food. <laughs> oh, God, you love me so much. Hallelujah. Come on, Mahal. Let's continue on reading God's word now. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Uh, Daniel chapter 11. Yesterday we started reading 11 verses. Uh, um, what verse is this? Verse 1, 2, 3. Yep. And so now we will continue on reading. Wearing kings of north and south. Come, let's carry on reading. All right. Chapter 11 of Daniel. Wearing kings of north and south yesterday, they read chapter 10. Hallelujah. Also, the king of the south shall become strong. The wind is blowing so strongly. Sorry about that. Also, the king of the south shall become strong as well as one of his princes, and he shall gain power over him and have dominion his dominion shall be a great dominion and at the end of the of some years they shall join forces for the daughter of the king of the south shall go to the king of the north to make an agreement but 
she shall not retain the power of her authority and neither he nor his authority shall stand but she, she shall be given up with those who brought her and with him who begot her and with him who strengthened her in those times but from a branch of his of her roots one shall arise in his place who shall come with an army enter the fortress of the king of the north and deal with them prevail and he shall also carry their gods captive to Egypt with their princesses and their precious articles of silver and gold. And he shall continue more years than the king of the north. Also, the king of the north shall come to the king of, of the king of the south, but shall return to, your, to his own land. However, his sons shall stir up strife and assemble a multitude of great forces, and no one shall certainly come and overwhelm and pass through. Uh, and pass through, and then he shall return to his fortress and stir up strife. And the king of the south, the king of the south, shall be moved with rage and go out and fight with him, with the king of the north who shall muster a great multitude, but the multitude shall be given into the hand of his enemy, and he has taken away the multitude, his heart will be lifted up, and he will cast down tens of thousands, of, but he will not prevail, for the king of the north will return and muster a multitude greater than the former, and shall certainly come at the end of some years with great army and much equipment. Now in those times, many shall rise up against the king of the south, also violent men of your people shall exalt themselves in fulfillment of the vision, but they shall fall. So the king of the north shall come to build a siege mound and take a fortified city, and the forces of the south shall not withstand him. Even his choicest troops shall have no strength to, to resist, but he who comes against him shall do according to his own will, and no one shall stand against him. He shall stand in the glorious land with destruction in his power. He shall also set his face to enter with the strength of his whole kingdom and upright ones. With him thus shall he do, and he shall give him the daughter of woman to destroy it, but she shall not stand with him or be for him. After this he shall return his face to the coastlands and shall take many, but a ruler shall bring the reproach against them to an end, and with the reproach removed, he shall turn back on him. Then he shall turn his face toward the fortress of his own land, but he shall stumble and fall on and not be found. There shall arise, sorry about that, the wind is blowing so strongly. I, will, I want to put something that will uh, hold the pictures of our numbers. Thank you, Father. Now let's continue. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that. It's, uh, we are talking about the, the north and the south. And so let's get on. I can see whether we can. Alright. So what happened was there shall arise in this place. One who imposes taxes on the glorious kingdom, but within a few days he shall be destroyed, but not in anger or in battle. And in his place shall arise a veil person to whom they will not give the honor of royalty, but he shall come in peaceably and seize the kingdom by intri intrigue. With the force of a flood they shall be swept away, from before him and be broken and also the prince of the covenant and after that the league is made with him he okay. he shall be a deceit 
he shall act deceitfully, for he shall come up and become strong with a small number of people. He shall enter peaceably even into the richest places of the province, and he shall do what his fathers have not done, nor his forefathers. He shall disperse among them in among them the plunder, spoil, and riches, and he shall devise his plans against the sorry about that. against the strongholds, but only for a time. He shall stir up his power and his courage against the king of the south with a great army, and the king of the south shall be stirred up to battle with a very great and mighty army, but he shall not stand, for they shall devise plans against him. Yes, those who eat at the portion of his delicacies shall destroy him. His army shall be swept away, and many shall fall down slain. Both these kings' hearts shall be bent on evil, and they shall speak lies at the same table. But it shall not prosper, for the end will still be at the appointed time. While returning to his land with great riches, his heart shall be moved against the holy covenant, who so he shall do damage and return to his own land. The north, the northern king's blasphemies. Let's carry on reading. At the appointed time, he shall return and go toward the south, but it shall not be like the former of the latter. For the ships from Cyprus shall come against him, therefore he shall be grieved and return in rage against the Holy Covenant and do, and do damage. So, what happened was, let's carry on reading. Let me put something that won't make this. <laughs> so, let's carry on. Sorry about that. Oh, Lord, help us, Father. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Let's carry on reading. So what happened was, the northern king's blasphemous. At the appointed time, he shall return and go toward the south, but it shall not be like the former of the latter. For ships from Cyrus shall come against him, and therefore he shall be grieved and return in rage against the holy covenant and do damage. Hmm. But the Lord will intervene. <laughs> Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. You will not. Uh, you will not. Uh, hallelujah. You will help your people, Lord. You will. You will help your appointed people, your holy covenant with the people, Lord, with your people. <laughs> Let's carry on reading. So he shall return and disshew and regard for those who forsake the holy covenant and forces shall be mastered by him and they shall defile the sanctuary fortress then they shall take away the daily sacrifices and there and places and place there the abomination of desolation those who do wickedly against the covenant he shall corrupt with flattery but the people who know their god shall be strong and carry out great exploits mm. And those of the people who understand shall instruct many, yet for many days they shall fall by sword and flame, by captivity and plundering. Now they, now when they fall, they shall be aided with a little help, but many shall join them, shall join with them by intrigue, and some of those of understanding shall fall to find them. Thank you, Father. <laughs> Maybe I keep on repeating, reading this, but I think you can just read it again by yourself. So let's carry on reading. And uh, defiled and uh, sorry about that. What was it? And then de de purify them and make them white until the time of the end, because it is still for the appointed time. Then the king shall do according to his own own will. He shall exalt and might magnify himself above every god shall speak blasphemies against the god of gods and shall prosper till the wrath what has been accomplished for for what has been determined shall be done he shall re regard neither the god of his fathers nor the desire of women nor regard any god but for he shall exalt himself above them all 
but in thy place he shall uh, honor a God of fortresses, of fortresses, and a God which is, which his fathers did not know. He shall honor with gold and silver, with precious stones and pleasant things. Thus he shall act against the strongest fortresses with a foreign God, which he shall acknowledge and advance its glory and he shall cause them to rule over many and divide the land for gain i think let's get on reading and then prophecies all right the land for gain and then the northern king's conquests at the time of the end of the king of the south shall attack him and the king of the north shall come against him like a whirlwind with chariots horsemen and with many ships and he shall enter the countries overwhelm overwhelm them and pass through he shall also enter the glorious land and many countries shall be over, overthrown but this shall escape from his hand but these shall escape from his hand Edom, Moab, and the prominent people of Ammon. He shall stretch out his hand against the countries, and the land of Egypt shall not escape. He shall have power over the treasures of gold and silver, and over all the precious things of Egypt. Also, the Libyan and Ethiopians shall follow at his heels. But news from the east and the north shall trouble him, therefore he shall go out with great fury to destroy and in annihilate many, and he shall plant the tents of his palace between the seas and glorious holy. <laughs> this begins. All right, sorry about that. Oh God, thank you, Lord. And then. He shall plant the tents of his palace between the seas and the glorious holy mountain, yet he shall come to his end, and no one will help him. Mm. Wow. So thank you, Father, for those who are your anointed one. They will be secure. They will help us, Father God. Lord, we are so blessed. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. And uh, whatever comes, the north or the south, whatever it is that will uh, come against your holy covenants, your people, Father God, they will not be afraid, for you are with us, and you will never leave us, nor forsake us. That like, just like what happened to Daniel, Lord, you were there, and also to Abednego, <laughs> and the friends, Father God, you were there with them. And so, Lord, we, are, we have nothing to be afraid. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. We praise you, Lord, and we glorify you, O oh God. Your words, your glory, and honor, and praise, Father.